Hi, I'm Nate the Maker, and today I'm gonna make the Luxo Junior lamp. To print this lamp bell took a few different tries. The first time, it just wasn't adhering to the plate. I think it was having some leveling issues, so I leveled again, tried it, same result, it came off. Printed some stringing benchmark tests to see if it was like hitting itself as I was printing, then re-leveled a third time, tried it, third time's a charm, it came out, it worked. I was able to print the rest of these with no issues, and I think it was just getting the printer up and going on a long print like this. So I have all my pieces printed out and primed. Now this is a really simple process. All you do is take the print from the printer and coat it with a layer of primer, then sand it, then prime it, sand it, prime it. Do that like two or three times and you get rid of all of the 3D print marks and the lines and the bumps that are created from the 3D printing process. Now once you do that, you're like, you can go over and actually paint and it won't be as bumpy or jaggedy. And especially when you're painting with something that's glossy, it'll just amplify all of those bumps in your print. So you're gonna wanna make sure you come out to a smooth finish before you paint. Now if you wanna see that process in detail, I have a full video on how to finish a 3D print and it'll be available right here. Go check it out. But what we have is the dome, the base, and a whole bunch of connection parts that'll make the scissor lift style middle. Um, I have a box of springs, I have a connector between the dome and a light switch, and I also have a little knob that'll control the light switch itself. So I have all my pieces sanded and ready to be painted. I'm gonna wipe them all off one more time just to get all the dust off of them, and then I'll take them outside and start painting them white. So after about three rounds of priming and sanding and then another two coats of white, I finally have all my pieces and they look fantastic. Um, each piece is covered in complete white. It looks shiny, it's metallic. It came out looking really nice. Um, I have electronics, so I have a plug and a light switch with a light bulb. And I also have a few various springs because I don't know what the tension is gonna be or what I need to do to get it to sit right. Um, but now it's time for assembly. So it's all ready to go and it just needs to be put together, screwed together. And uh, let's get started. Now the first thing I'm gonna do before I start putting everything together is to run the wire. And so I know this wire is gonna be a little tight to get through this, but if I pull it hard enough, it should fit. And uh, we're gonna try to get that to work right now. So close. I'm gonna try to put some uh, Deputy 4D on it. Hopefully this doesn't too discolor it too much. It seems to be working better. It's still really tight. And now it's hard to get a grip. <laughs> I may have to drill this hole out. I didn't really want to because it's a finished piece, and it'd be kind of scary to drill this out. Um, it's 
It's good. Well, it's working. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. Let's try this again. Oh, so far a little easier. As to be expected. All right, we did it. All right, it's through. Okay, that was scary because if this didn't fit, I didn't know what else to do. Maybe just get another wire. But uh, that's good. That's a good start. Okay, look at that. It's coming through pretty easily now. WD-40 is helping. <laughs> Oh, I gotta get through one more hole. Oh man. That's how much clearance we're dealing with here. Not much. Oh yeah, now we're going. Let's pull this out a little bit. Get that twist out. Now we're gonna go up, out of the base. Boom. And through the bottom and back out. So that should be plenty on this other side now, as long as I'm just gonna finish this off because if I pull it back through or I cut it at the end, that's gonna be fine. I'd rather have more on this side. Okay, so I've already messed up the order. I need to pull this pin back out. It's actually one of these pins that goes in right there. And this pin goes here. Not the biggest issue. Should be easy to get back out. Easy. I forgot the other piece again. Oh man, the order is gonna be so weird. some material. <laughs> So now we gotta get this light bulb in there. And to do that, I made a little coupler ring that fits over the top of this thing and it pressure fits into this hole from the other side. Then I have a little light switch that'll go on here, super glue onto the top of this rotary switch and then we'll have a working light. Screw in the 
common and the hot into the back of this light switch, should be good to go. And I know a few of you are wondering, this is PLA, this is a light bulb, it's gonna get hot. This is an LED bulb and it will not get hot enough to melt or distort this. So we're good to go. Now it's easy to tell the hot and the, the common and the hot on these. The hot is normally a gold and the common is normally a silver. What you're gonna to wanna to do is hook this and make a little hook like that and then wrap that around the screw in the direction that the threads are gonna move. So when you screw it down, it actually tightens it and pulls it back into itself instead of pushing it away. And of course, whenever you're working with electronics, make sure it's unplugged. Now I'm just gonna put this cap over the top, press it down. And this fits right into the top there. I'm actually gonna pull some of this out. Like I said, this is a pressure fit and it's pretty tight. There we go. Nice and flush in the back. Thank you. <laughs> now I have a little knob. Knob goes on the back right there. And you can hear it spin. We get some super glue, pour some glue in the back of this. Stick it on. Give that a second to dry. Now while that dries, let's put some springs on this thing. Like I said, I have a box assortment of springs. We'll find a couple that work. Let's give it a test. I'm dying to see if this thing turns on. <laughs> Look at that. Thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun building this project. Anytime I can combine Disney, Pixar, and making, it's gonna be a good time. All of the files and the 3D printing models will be down in the description on Thingiverse, so you can make your own. If you have any questions during your build, I'd love to answer your questions down in the comments. Also, let me know if you have anything you'd like to see me make. Again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to, and I'll see you next time.